Well, good day, Tubes. Bruce here. Well, we got a mower come in from another co-worker. You'll have to understand that when I was working for my company, there was 500 of us in the, in the uh, city that we lived in and area, and now they're, they cut it back to 70. So that's why there's so many co-workers that bring their stuff to me, because there used to be a pile of us, and now we're all town fathers. This one, this is a, oops, excuse me. So, John Deere, Kawasaki, FCV 150, so it's probably 150 cc's. And uh, it's got absolutely no spark, so we'll start there. I usually show the stand getting pumped up and all that stuff but uh, now I'm just going to take the top cover off because I think it's a bad coil so there's one stud there and another stud on the other side but that doesn't look like enough like enough bolts to hold this cover on so uh, we'll just set you down and we'll go for it And just one small tip when you're using uh, parts trays, if you happen to throw your part onto the table, they also stick underneath and you can spend a fair bit of time looking, looking for your stuff because it's stuck underneath. Might have to take the rewind off. That's probably what's holding it on. Now we should have liftoff here now. Yeah. Literally. Might have to take the uh, dust screen off. Yes, sir, Bob. Oh. Need a little tiny bit more space. There. That's all we need. Perfect. Okay. There's the coil right there. So let's get this coil off. All right, guys, I just want to show you something interesting. This is an ohmmeter. I've got the coil unplugged from the shutoff wire, right? And right now the mower is turned off. And when I go to ground with the ohmmeter, I get 0.4 of an ohm. That's a dead, that's a ground, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to pretend the mower is running by moving that forward. And now we'll ground the ohmmeter. And it has 1.9 megs. So that's basically uh, an open. So as far as I can tell, 
the wiring's good. The wiring's not putting on uh, the wiring isn't putting a false condition on the coil. So now I think pretty much that it is the coil. All right, I'm going to take the coil out, and we're just going to see if I can find one that fits it physically. I think I'm dreaming. I don't have Kawasaki coil laying around, but it all depends on the size of the curl and the distance between these two holes. So I'll get back to you. Well, I'm stunned. I think I've got something. I think this came off of a GX160 Honda generator, and this is the Kawasaki coil. Now, except for a few small differences, the holes are... We can do this for you? I don't know. Okay, let's line it up. The holes are very close, there and there, and look at that curvation. Same size flywheel. Slightly shorter lead to the plug, but I think we'll get away with it. And if we line them up the same... Okay, where's my space relation dyslexia issues. There we go, the, uh, the connector's on the same side. So let's just give this a go, guys. I don't know. I'm kind of happy about this. Now we need our piece of paper, or our business card, to uh, set the distance. Yeah, it's going to work. I think. Just, whoops, chipped over my air hose. Any of you guys ever do that? So I'm going to slip a business card in there. If I can. I've got to do it from underneath. There we go. Somehow I'm going to have to get that out of there when I'm done. <laughs> My lips, right? Tongue out to one side. Okay. Turn this down by hand and get it close. <laughs> I don't believe it. Okay, now I'm going to just make sure these bolts are a quarter return from tight. Push, are you guys watching this? Yes. Push the coil. So there I am. I've got the coil in, and I've got the business card jammed in there. Not not perfectly, but uh, anyway, that's my lucky old business card. I'm not superstitious. So I hope I haven't lost my uh, lucky rabbit's foot. Okay, let's turn that flywheel the other way, get that card out of there, and I think we've got her, got her beat. Now, if we can do this without breaking stuff.
get my spark detector. I'll probably even do it without it. And we'll ground one side of this plug and I'll see. I'm going to spin the motor with the spark plug out and see if I got a spark. Would you guys like to see that? I don't know if I've got enough arms. Watch right there. I don't know if there's enough. If you guys have enough uh, camera quality to pick this up. But there's a nice spark there. So let's just put this back together. I'm going to service this lawnmower afterwards. That's just changing the oil and it's already got a new spark plug, right? Let's get the spark plug in. I'm stunned. Alright, now we'll just get some air and get clean up this mess a little bit. <coughs> Plug the intake for the carburetor off. Side. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to try and air wash this lawnmower and I'll be back in a bit guys. Alright guys, everything's done but one thing, I have to change the oil. And that's it. So let's uh, see if it runs. The oil is actually quite good, so it's been changed fairly recently. I have wheel all, oil all the wheels. I sharpened the blade. I got the broccoli out from underneath. So let's see if she goes. Not self-propelled, so it should start. There. It's running. Thanks, dude. And I wiped it down, too. 